Hi everyone, I'm Kima. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going over some of 2023 fashion trends that are well making their way over to 2024 and surprisingly, these ones are very classy. So let's get into them. First up, we have long line coats. We saw long line coats, uh, fall winter collections, beautiful, gorgeous pieces. One of the top fall 2023 fashion trends was the trench coat and the trench coat serves really so much more of a purpose in the fall and moving over to winter we saw like the wool coats really beautiful long line gorgeous coats on the runway that just made everything look so much more fabulous and the cool thing the exciting thing about that is that they made their way into the spring and summer collections but not in a way where it just mirrors exactly what fall and winter had now there's like change in like the textures lighter textures the colors colors going into you know the brighter colors for spring and summer also you see the juxtaposition of like textiles like a teddy like coat over like a spring slip dress on the runway that just really tells that you know long line coats aren't going anywhere they're just reimagining what they look like based on like fabrics and textures and styles to match the season and i absolutely love that because it's so beautiful it's so classy when you're wearing like a nice outfit that is seamlessly classly put together and then you add a coat over it to just bring everything together i love the look of that and so just to see that in a classy way that we can still add those variations to our outfits in 2024 is amazing and just like the trench coat was one of fall top fashion trend the trench coat is still making its way over into spring and summer there have been different iterations of it with changes in the color um changes it a little bit in the structure so we can still enjoy those pieces seasonally without kind of like giving up on a lot of the things that make our fashion choices and our outfits look put together and classy Next up, we have gloves. And while I have covered fashion trends, I haven't gone so much into like the accessory trends. I was super excited to add gloves to this video and I had seen a lot of glove work on the runways and the collections for fall and winter and to see it still spring up and still being so ever present in the spring and summer collections was just really exciting and I love that what I have seen and I'm pretty sure if you've watched the shows too you have seen that it's not your typical or oh, boring gloves or it's not the typical like this is the functionality of a glove is just to keep you warm there's a play around being fun with your gloves and wearing gloves um, take for example I think in fall winter Jill Sanders had this beautiful eggshell white one with like sharp arms that looked just like a, a piece of art. It was an artwork and I thought that was absolutely beautiful. Serves the purpose, but fashionable. Just gave it a whole new look and a whole new feel. Made me want to go out and buy gloves and I live in Los Angeles, okay? We don't get cold at all. I need to go somewhere cold to buy gloves anywhere. And I love that transitioning into 2024. There's different iterations of the gloves. Some of what I've seen is a change of the color, more colors that match the spring and summer vibe. Fendi had quite a few pastel hues on the runway that gave me so much excitement. I keep telling myself, I do not need gloves. Don't spend any money on gloves, right? <laughs> but what I loved about just that component of seeing gloves Fall winter 2023 and spring summer 2024, it just tells me that gloves can be fun and you don't have to buy expensive gloves. Remember that the collections and the runways are really kind of like um, showcasing and being the front runner as to what's trendy in our everyday stores will be making variations, iterations of those that are much more affordable than the runway shows. <laughs> And so if gloves are something that is um, high rotation for you or you wear them in your regions, I do recommend that you get a little bit spunky, get a little bit fun with like gloves and different variations of gloves and merge over into like, you know, spring and summer still in your gloves. And you would think like summer, who would wear gloves in the summer? But you might be going to a wedding, special occasion, and you could even do like the sheer gloves that are just there for helping you breathe, but it will just pull together an outfit in a classy, fabulous, chic, and unique way. <laughs> Next up, we have like the Huggies, which are like the Huggy bags, those cozy, more so on the oversized-ish um, category of bags that you just fold and just put under your arm, or they're just kind of like 
you know made to just go under your arm some of them will have straps but most of them will just kind of just be like just under your arm but they're like huggies cozy comfortable bags that really can be dressed up or dressed down depending on your outfit and how you put them together but the huggies were dominant for fall and winter 2023 collections and are well on their way into 2024 but again these slight little subtle changes that just makes it still so versatile all year round it's really a do-it-all bag because a lot of the bags you fold under your arm some of them can easily be thrown over your shoulder I have seen a lot of the cool girls do like the over the shoulder ones and I've also seen it very classily styled, especially like Ferragamo has this one called the Hug Bag. Now that is a very structured, really classy bag that I think fits so well into the Huggies category, but for classy styling. So you can definitely find your vibe and style from the Huggies bag category, um, especially if you're into classy styling, then the Ferragamo one, I gotta tell myself I don't need it. I don't need, I don't need to spend $3,800, I really don't. <laughs> but it's so beautiful and gorgeous. And not only does the designer ones, but you can find iterations of those in our everyday stores that we shop at outside of the designer stores. So the Huggies bag, definitely took their place in fall winter 2023 and are really cementing themselves for spring and summer 2024. Let's welcome them. <laughs> so I did introduce myself at the beginning of the video but I just want to tell you a little bit more about myself and my channel. Hi, I am Kima. Welcome to my channel. My channel focuses on classy, wearable, everyday fashion for the woman who wants to either build, maintain a classy wardrobe or divert into a classy style or in an elevated lifestyle space. So if that's something that um, speaks to you or somewhere where you just want to take your fashion and your lifestyle into that direction, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. That is my focus here to help women just feel good, look good, do good in their own capacity um, by us all inspiring each other. So do please <laughs> subscribe to my channel. My comment section is always open if you have any questions, any concerns, any comments really, let me know in the comment section. It is such a good way to get to know everyone or uh, most people who are following me. I just really want to know because YouTube is a space where I can't see faces or anything, but the comment section really give me a vibe of who you are and I love, love meeting people, um, you know, in any way, online or in person, but we're online so I would love to get to know you guys. Leave me a comment and thank you for subscribing. Moving right along. Next up, we have the darling like leather, leather details, leather clothing. Leather overall, but more in a very darling, fashionable way. So that's one of the things that I've loved seeing on the runway in fall, winter 2023 collections, moved right over to spring and summer 2024 collections. A lot of the leather on the runway was just so like in this classy, chic, sophisticated kind of way. And that gave me so much inspiration and excitement about leather because leather can really be a fabric in clothing that is just serving as a functional piece like you know leather is functional it's a leather jacket because you know this is just a leather jacket these are just leather pants but it wasn't just that for the fall winter 2023 collections and still isn't just that for spring summer 2024 so we've seen fall winter like different color variations different unique ways of um, adding leather to pieces of clothing to spring summer collections showing that you could still wear leather in the spring and summer and I love like that push on like the basic rule of like leather is more suited for you know fall and winter but spring and summer we won't wear leather I love that seeing some of these pieces on the runways where leather is infused in like drop waist dresses still flirty and cute pastel color leathers have been just really good to see because of course you're tying in that color variation with the fabric variation and almost like forcing like you gotta try it you gotta wear it it's pastel it's spring and summer you know but it is leather why not why not try it right we're seeing it like you know in dresses in crop tops pieces of clothing that would fit a certain season leather has been infused into it and i love that leather it's such a classic classy and staple fabric in any classy wardrobe so to see it fall winter spring summer i just got so excited and this just tells us that leather can be interesting can be classy all year round 
Moving right along, another fall winter 2023 trend that's making its way well into 2024 is uh, pointy toe pumps. And yes, pointy toe pumps was hard to miss in the fall winter 2023 collections. Hard to miss on the runways, hard to miss. And again, hard to miss spring summer made me excited because if you have seen my fall shoe trends, you'd have seen um, the court shoes, which is like typical, like your pumps, um, being one of the top classy shoe trends. And knowing that now the classic pump is now a new iteration or just kind of being revisited as to what that looks like into spring summer 2024 made me so excited. So we still have the pumps and we still have pointy toe pumps, but we're having different iterations of the pumps. Of course, some slingbacks, which is more kind of like celebrating spring and summer with open components of the shoes. We have like futuristic shapes and fabrics and colors for spring and summer 2024. And so everyone gets a choice. And pumps, pointy toe pumps are such a classic and timeless staple. So let's say you had your classic everyday black pump already and it's sitting in your closet and you were thinking about adding another pointy toe pump, but you wanted to add color. This would be the time for spring, summer 2024 highly trending and won't be something that even next year if it's not trending in 2025 won't be something in your classy closet that you're gonna be like oh my gosh why did i buy it no because pointy toe will always be trending will always be classy for a classy style and classy wardrobe so let's get happy with it let's style our pumps all year round 2023 2024 and beyond <laughs> And the next trend that was dominant fall winter 2023 moving over into spring summer 2024 i feel like i'm reading the news <laughs> is your tailored suiting and i want to kind of like backtrack on this because we saw suiting coming from let's say in like 2020 2021 where it's a little bit more oversized because within the pandemic and early post pandemic we were still in like the casual cozy feel because we weren't going anywhere and so we were getting out of our loungewear moving into like still wanting to be outside and dressed up but still not diverting too much from loungewear hence we had lots of oversized suiting now a few years post pandemic we finally are getting back our fitted suiting gorgeous and beautiful which is really staple for a classy wardrobe and i thought just seeing all of that fall winter 2023 and now spring summer 2024 is just amazing for us classy girls we get to get our fitted suits and one of the coolest things is that you're seeing different silhouettes and style and vibes. The ones that you see for fall, winter 2023 are different than what was on is in the collections for spring, summer 2024. Now we're seeing more of the inspired 1950s, which if you haven't seen my overall fashion trend video, you can definitely check it out after this because I do talk about how 1950s inspired clothing and silhouettes is going to be huge in winter and it's carrying its way over into spring and summer. So you are, we're seeing it in the suiting where we're having like nipped waist, um, suiting with belted details with the intention of keeping your clothing fitted without just fitting you down all the way. So adding those little details, a cinch waist, um, you know, nipped and dainty like variations and iterations of the suiting is really gorgeous and i think it's so classy so timeless pairing that with let's say your your um pointy toe pumps and your you know your bags under your arm and like futuristic gloves i mean come on every single thing this is like a trend capsule is it's can that be a thing <laughs> trend capsule that's not really could be a thing Hmm. Okay. So totally, the suiting, sharp details, darted pleats, beautiful, gorgeous. We have choices. We have choices. Classy, classy girls, classy women, classy men. We have choices this spring, summer, 2024, all year round. We always have choices, but I just love seeing classy styling being celebrated in the collections. Not that there aren't some that are, you know, just the complete opposite, like no pants, pants, uh, tumble laundry, 
um you know clown like dressing definitely check out my winter fashion trend video what not to wear there's another video what not to wear the trends that I'm absolutely like no not classy check those out after this video I will link them in the description down below <laughs> for you to see um, let me know which of these trends that I went over for fall winter 2023 that's made making their way over to spring summer 2024 that you're excited about which ones you love which ones you do buy into and which ones you've owned or if I missed anyone that you've seen over and over, please do let me know in the comments. I would love to hear about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye.